Hola, como estais? Soy Tom. And this is the Steel Duo PID from Ascaso, a Spanish company. And what we're going to do today is take a look at this machine. We're going to look at the build quality and the features that it offers. We are going to pull a shot and do some steaming with the machine, talk about the pros and cons, the partner acceptance factor, and maybe most importantly, ask ourselves the question, is this machine worth the price? So stick around and we will discuss all of those things. All right, so first of all, let's just talk about the build quality and the features that you get in the Steel Duo PID. So in the name, there are a couple of things right away that give you some indicators of what this machine is made out of, what it offers. The steel means it's painted steel. This is the, the white variant. You can also get it in black, which I think is super handsome. And you can get it in stainless steel also. Then it's called the Duo because it's got two thermal blocks in here. So it's not a dual boiler, but it's a dual thermal block machine. Then in the title is also PID. This has got a PID controller in here which is excellent and this really offers um, one benefit that many machines do not offer and that is that the temperature reading is taken here down at the brew group instead of at the thermal block. So that is something excellent for temperature accuracy. That is the initial breakdown. You get this pretty hefty machine. It weighs 15 kilos. Um, it can take a maximum of 2000 kilowatts of power. So it's got some power, it's got some weight to it. It offers you the two thermal blocks and uh, a nice PID that is controlled from the brew group. What else does it offer? Well, you've got a pretty large water tank here that's easy to remove. Uh, I find that from an ergonomic standpoint, something very nice. Moving forward, we've got this cup rack on top, which is ooh, hot, that's really hot. That is excellent for putting your cups on top. Moving forward, it offers here the manometer, which is always nice to have. Then you've got here switches. So you've got an on off switch. And if you'll notice, it's got lights, which I love. I wish every espresso machine had lights. So you can see, first of all, what you're doing and you can see the beauty of your shot coming out. Then it's got um, a switch for either a single espresso or a double espresso. So this is a volumetric switch here. Then it's got a hot water. And then finally, it's got steam mode. So you start the steam here on this variant with this flip switch here. There is a newer variant as well. I think it's the V2 and that's got a knob here on the side. Then the machine also comes with a hefty and handsome portafilter. That's a 58 millimeter portafilter with a really nice wooden handle on it. And that offers a generous drip tray. Now, something I like about this drip tray a lot is that there are fins in here. There's two fins in the drip tray. I don't know if you can see that, but the fins, when you're pulling out a full drip tray, are going to help that um, to counteract the waves so that you don't make a big mess. So I do like that Ascaso, uh, that design feature. Now, because this is a thermal block machine, it's quick to heat up. You're ready to go in a few minutes. However, the porta filter is not. That's got quite a bit of thermal mass itself. And for that reason, I would suggest that you turn this on a half hour before you want to use it. Uh, I've got it set up on an automatic timer that turns the machine on. And so that's something that you can do in order to get this nice and hot on top as well as at the porta filter ahead of time. It is active heating on the top as well as at the porta filter. All right, those are the main things that come to mind uh, right off the bat, what this machine offers. And I've got all the specifications and I've got extra information on my website. So just click on the blog article down below if you would like to get more information on the specifics. All right, let's move on to wife acceptance factor or partner acceptance factor real quick. So this has been sitting in our house for a couple of weeks now and it's got quite a high acceptance factor in our household mainly because it's pretty 
It does also make an excellent espresso, but for many people, aesthetics play the largest role. So for our household, it gets a thumbs up from me, it gets a thumbs up from my wife, and uh, for that reason, it's got, in my opinion, a pretty good partner acceptance factor. However, what might drive that down a bit is the price. This dual thermoblock machine um, comes in, depending on your market, where you live, anywhere between $1,500 and $2,000. So it's quite a hefty price and that's something to consider. At the end of the video, we are going to think about, okay, is it worth it to spend that money on this machine or not? At this point, I think we'll just go ahead and pull a shot. I'm sure you're all wondering, how is it to pull a shot? How is it to steam? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've got this hoss of a grinder right here, the DF83, that's what we're gonna to use today. And let's go for uh, 16 grams. All right, so let's go ahead and pull ourselves a shot. The machine is nice and warmed up. You can do a little WD teen here. And you'll notice I've got my WDT tool attached magnetically to the side of the machine, which tells me that it's not a certain type of stainless steel. It may be stainless steel, but whatever kind of steel it is, it is magnetic. All right, this is what the puck looks like. Let's pull our shot. Excellent. Now I would say let's go ahead and do some milk steaming. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn the steam on with this switch up here. Let's position our steam tip and here we go. And you can hear there, it's got the automatic purge. So let's pour the espresso in there, a little hot cocoa on top. And then what we're gonna do is just transfer pitchers here. Now I'm a little bit shy when it comes to doing latte art uh, here on YouTube, but let's just give it a shot. So, there we go, two hearts. Let me try to steam one more time. Let's see what we get out of this one. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right guys, so there you go. A couple of tasty cappuccinos made by the Escazo Steel Dual PID. And so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, a temperature stability check and see how stable the temperature is. All right, so what we're gonna do now is put this probe here onto the porta filter, just like so. And uh, before I do that, I just wanna show you that my temperature gauge is just a little off. You see that this one on top is accurate at 21 degrees. That is the temperature here in the room and below it says 19. So this one is always about an offset of about two degrees too low. 
All right, here we go. This is uh, Iron Puck and we are going to see how the thermal stability is of this Ascazo Steel Dual PID. All right, we are at 55 degrees at the croup head. Let's let a shot out and see how stable it is. We're at 89 degrees after the pre-infusion. Ninety two, ninety one, ninety one. Wow, I would say that is very, very stable. And that is what the shot looks like, very creamy. All right guys, so what did we find out using this thermometer? Well, we determined that this machine gives us a really stable temperature for our extraction. So we rode right at 91 degrees, a really flat extraction on here. You've got to add two degrees due to the offset of this. However, that is still a three degrees less than what's here on the display. So I would suggest going into the menu and just adjusting the temperature offset here. Check out my video on how to do that up here. All right guys, so now it's time to circle back to the original question. Is this machine worth the 1500 to 2000 euro or dollar entrance price? And that's something only you guys can answer. What I can tell you is this machine provides excellent espresso. You can easily change the temperature here. The PID is very stable. It provides good steam and you can both steam and do the espresso extraction at the same time, of course. It has a lot of real estate up here and it's a very hot cup tray. It heats up quickly and so it's also very handsome, has a good partner acceptance factor. I think you get a lot for your money, but of course, dual thermal block or dual boiler machines are always way more expensive than their single boiler, single thermal block counterparts. So if you would like to save some money, maybe buy a single boiler and use that extra money for a grinder. So let me know, I'm very curious what you think about the value of this machine. Do you think that that's a good value? What is your opinion? Write in the comment section down below. I'm curious to read your comments. All right, guys, at this point in the video, I would like to say thank you very much to Stefan for lending me this machine, letting me play with it, experiment with it the last couple of weeks. I do really appreciate it, Stefan, and keep up the good work over there at Mira Coffee Roasting. All right, guys, I hope that you liked this video, and if so, please give it a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Adios, amigos.